Hello and welcome to your new smart book dashboard. Just before we get started, I just want to quickly run through a few housekeeping tips for you. If you look at your uh, screen over in the top right hand corner, you will see your name. Uh, for me, it's our company Smart Business Live. If you click on the name, Dan will drop a menu for you. And the fourth option down in the menu is users. If you click on users, this is where you can add or invite people to your uh, into your um, dashboard to use the um, software or look at the transactions. If you were inviting an external bookkeeper or your accountant, you would now simply click on the button create advisor and simply enter in their name and their email address and click the save and send button that will send them an invite very similar to the invite you got to log into your new platform and will allow them to come in and look at your accounts for end of year or assist you with anything you you need done this saves the old practice that you used to have to do for years of emailing your accountants your bk5 file and then waiting for it to come back another bonus of using this new platform the other option under um, the other option that you've got under users is to if you're going to invite somebody within your organization you would simply click on the other bo button that is there, which is create you the green button, create user. Again, it's as simple as putting their name in and their email address, selecting the roles that you want them to have and click the save and send the invite to them. The other housekeeping tip that you need to be aware of is business settings. So when you first because you've just come into your platform now. Uh, we do recommend that you do go and look at your business settings and just make sure that the relevant information has been brought across with regards to your IRD number, if it's set up for GST and anything else, just in case um, we've missed your um, business number or there are some details on here that need to be updated. Simply update the information that you um, need to on this and down the bottom there is a save button and that is um, that just covers all our housekeeping now I will get on to the fun part of explaining to you um, how what's on the dashboard and to give you a bit of a walk around with the dashboard in your new platform uh, the uh, menus are across the top here. So if we click on dashboard, that takes you back to your main main dashboard. This is the main view that you will see where every time you log into your site. The main area that you would be interacting with on a day to day basis is on your right here. You will see manage your day to day. The advantage with this platform now is instead of you as in the old site, you would have to go in and download, click to download your transactions. This is all automated now. Every day you come in, your latest transactions from your bank feed will be there. If you click on allocate, it will always tell you the amount that have not been allocated at the moment. And if you click on allocate transactions, it will take you into the list of your transactions. Now, one of the wonderful features that I like about this new platform is there is a fabulous help functions with it. So it does not matter what section of your platform that you are in. If you simply want to understand what some of the fields are or, you know, um, shortcuts for uh, doing functions in any, in any of those screens, if you hover up by your um, company name right next to it, you will see that there is a question mark in a circle. Uh, when you click on that, it, and it, if you hover near it, it will say help. But when you click on it, it will actually bring up 
help information for you on the right hand on the right hand side sorry the left hand side of your screen uh, there's uh, it will there will be links in there to the various things that this is bank transactions bank feeds the down the bottom there is also tips like tips and tricks shortcut ways for for getting things done uh, there is with this and this is where too your any if if in your old site you had any as we used to call them memorization rules for allocating common transactions automatically they weren't they weren't able to be brought over in your migration but you can set them up and for for some it might be a good time to do a whole cleanup of your memorization rules by going through in and, and resetting them you can follow the instructions on um, the help function from the left hand side or you can simply go to your match and allocate here if you go to a line and you simply click it will give you the options of the account codes that you want to assign assign it to and if you get stuck you can always call us at the, on, on our help desk and we will be able to assist you further if um, you need any further assistance with the menus up the top so dashboard will always bring you back to the dashboard your banking menu has all the information relating to your bank feeds now one of the functions in this that will be helpful for you if you need to add any more banks uh, it's really simple and easy uh, to do it in here to um, through manager bank feeds so if you actually and again as you've noticed if you went into somewhere like this it would actually um, give you the instructions on the site okay um, this is a test site so none of the data is real uh, accounting has your chart of accounts and information relating to your gst and the other function that you're probably going to use will be your reporting um, that will be the reports that your accountant needs or you need like your GST returns in so forth. And that is a, a quick, brief, but um, explanation of most of the information that you're going to need. Don't worry if you get stuck and you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us on our help desk. Uh, the number is 0800 10 10 38. That is 0800 10 10 38. And have a great day. Thank you.